so today I want to talk about Givenchy's new L'Entre D Rouge perfume and I'm going to also talk about Givenchy's L'Entre D perfume and if you have this one do you really need this one? All right, so I have timestamps below just in case you don't want to hear my little blurb on everything. You can certainly skip around. I definitely don't mind, but let's just get into this little baby right here. This is the L'Entre de Rouge perfume, and I absolutely love it. As you all know, this was newly released this year about a couple of months ago, and this one is supposed to be a flanker from this perfume right here. And the difference is mainly because of the spicy accord that Givenchy has added to it or their perfumers added to it. The noses behind these two fragrances are Dominique Ropion, Fanny Ball, and Anna Filpo, and I hope that I'm not butchering anyone's name. But I think that they did an awesome job with this. I love the bottle. The bottle is totally gorgeous. You can't really see the juice inside unless you hold it up to light. If you don't, it just looks like a solid red bottle and it's totally gorgeous. I really love the fragrance of this one. In the top notes, again, it does have that spicy red accord as Givenchy likes to explain it. And we all know that spicy accords consist of clove, cinnamon, um, uh, ginger. Ginger is really my favorite. I love the ginger note. And, you know, initially, when you spray it, you do get a strong whiff of sweetness with spiciness added to it, but you get more of the spiciness um, and, and the blood orange, uh, to me, just kind of takes a back seat to all of the spicy accords that are going on. In middle notes, you have jasmine, and jasmine is another note that's gonna bring some sweetness to it. So as you can see, this is like already starting to be a spicy, sweet type of fragrance. It ends off with sandalwood and patchouli. So if any of those notes um, just kind of uh, are your jam or float your boat, I would definitely recommend this one. For me, I feel as though initially when I spray it, it's very uplifting, it's very bright, it makes me happy, but the dry down on me just kind of leans a little bit more masculine that I would like, even though this is a fragrance that is for women. I don't feel as though you get a lot of lasting power. Um, there's not much projection. Uh, when I spray it on my clothes, when I go back hours later, I don't really smell it. Um, as much as I do the other one and I'll get into that. Um, I just feel as though it it just lacks in that regard. This is not a safe fragrance. And what do I mean by that? Everybody's not gonna love it. Uh, um, a matter of fact, speaking of everybody, my husband is one of them. He doesn't like either one of these. You, I think that you have to really like spice um, and things like that to really appreciate this one and this is definitely not a linear scent it's very complex what you get in the beginning is not what you're gonna get in the end it's just totally not and you really have to spray it on yourself to really um notice what it's gonna do at the end of the day i think that it would be a good uh date night um fragrance but that's only if you're um you're dating someone familiar who is familiar with your fragrances because like i said this is a very distinct type of scent. Um, I think it would be good on special occasions, um, parties, and things like that. Do I think if you have one, if you have the first one, do you need this one? Um, I would say no, only because um, the difference is the spicy note. And I feel as though you lose that once it dries down. So for me, it almost kind of defeats the purpose. When um, I'm going to make myself like or decant or make some little smaller uh, bottles of this and when I wear it, I'll just have to, you know, refresh every couple of hours in an effort to keep that spiciness going. Who do I think this is for? I think this is for someone who collects fragrances. I think this is for someone who probably is interested uh, in unisex perfumes of course someone who likes spicy accords uh, but it's definitely not a blind buy please do not blind buy this one because you might be disappointed all right so now for the lantra de perfume and this one is my favorite out of the two i really like this one the noses behind it are the same the same three people and 
This fragrance is very well blended. In the base, you do have vetiver, uh, patchouli, uh, sandalwood, so you do have the same uh, type of base. So for me, this one dries down, um, again, a little bit uh, more masculine. It's not masculine, but it just kind of leans there just a little bit. This one is very, very sweet. Initially, when you spray it, this one also has a, um, orange blossom, so when you initially spray it you're going to get a burst of sweetness that's it that's what i smell when i initially spray it it makes me happy i think it does have bergamot in the top note as well and you all know that i love bergamot bergamot is um, a very uplifting fresh sweet scent um, that i think may be universally liked i'm not sure <laughs> i know that i love it i think that this one would be uh, office appropriate church appropriate regular outings appro appropriate i do feel as though the lasting power the siage and the projection are really good on this one this one is going to stick and stay whereas the other uh the rouge is going to stick and leave um, you will smell this hours after you've sprayed it uh, on yourself or on your skin. Um, and that's um, with just one or two, maybe three um, applications. It's a very elegant fragrance. That's probably the main adjective that comes to mind when I think of this one. It's very elegant and also uplifting. So, you know, those, that's what I get. At the end of the day, if you have this one, I don't necessarily think that you need this one. Is this one a bad one? No, this one isn't. I do love it. I just think that this one is only going to appeal. It's not going to appeal to the masses, in my opinion. And for me, since this one doesn't have um, as good a lasting power and sillage, as the perfume i really don't think that this one probably is needed i mean you probably just save your bucks unless you really like those spicy accords i would say that you need both but let me know down in the comments if you picked up the Lanter de Rouge and if so what you think about it and let me know if you like spicy notes and things like that I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches